with the guys from Oppressor, and uh, that's Jim, that's Tim, this is Colin from Neptune Fanzine, and uh, doing Livewire now? Yeah, I'm ready for Livewire now. Alright, and Thanks. I'll be the fan. Thanks. And uh, don't forget Liz. Hi. I'm an avid fan. Avid fan? Avid fan. Tommy. Tommy. Alright. Total Underground here, and uh, guys from Oppressor, okay, tell me about the new one, it's called Agony, you're on MIA Records now? Yes, sir. The new album is out, it's called Agony, uh, if you've heard any of our stuff before and you don't like it, pick up Agony, you'll like it, if you've heard any of the stuff before and you like it, pick up Agony, you'll like it. It's, and a it's of the, uh, we think you might like it, we're not sure. <laughs> it's it's the best stuff we've ever done. The production, the production is a lot better. The production the kicks the crap we yeah, we recorded, out of anything we've ever done before. We recorded with uh, Brian Griffin from Broken Hope. And we finished it up at Morris Sound Studios with Jim Morris to add that little extra touch. Sorry, you're not supposed to swear. It's all good. I meant. All right, so you guys were you put out the. Uh, European Oppression Live on Megalithic Records. What happened with them? Were they just... Uh, Our first label was Red Light Records and we put out Solstice of Oppression on that. Then they went out of business and we signed to Megalithic Not Records. Not because of us, mind you. Not because of us. Skate nicks, thanks. Uh, <laughs> we went on... Uh, then we signed to Megalithic Records, put out European Oppression Live and reissued Solstice of Oppression, which they bought the rights to. Then they went out of business. Then we signed to MIA for the U.S. and Canada. Out of and Houston out of Houston, and Die Hard Music out of Denmark for the rest of the world, and we put out Agony on that, and hopefully they'll be in business for the next record. Uh, Colin, you just, you put out a 7-inch for these guys, tell me a bit about that. Well, um, it all happened when uh, they were going to do something with Last, Vo Last World, but uh, that guy kind of flaked out, so um, I kind of wanted to do a label, so what happened was... I just called up Tim that night and just said, hey man, I'll put it out, you know? Nope. What I don't get is that Marilyn Manson's playing tonight and you get all the freaking fans out there. It's like, was there's Marilyn right. Manson playing. They're playing up in Fitchburg, like all the holy rollers, man, trying fuck to get them out trendy of trendy bitches, man. Yeah, yeah. Fuck That's them, because yeah. Marilyn Manson is trendy and yeah. everybody here tonight is true underground. Thanks. I forgot, I except forgot for, all Except my... for the guys like the painted faces, <laughs> yeah. if you see those. I forgot all, all my If, if you're going to Marilyn Manson tonight, you're a... You're an MTV trendy bitch is what you're you guys should And if you're wearing corpse paint, Warrant did it better, thanks. Yeah. yeah. All right, Tony the Metallion, what's the question? I want to know if they got any, like, real, like, a lot of slack for doing the Motley Crue cover. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Personally, uh, personally, I think it's gay, because I, I was never into any of that shit, but... Uh, Jim left was the band for, like, a I was out of like, the band for a couple months. I had no say in it. Jim was on yeah. probation for a little while. <laughs> I was uh, doing time for nailing some schoolgirls. Oh. <laughs> yeah. no. Just yeah, kidding. Jim, prison. <laughs> Jim had left the band to pursue a uh, career Jim. opportunity, so we went to Europe. With another guitar player, and we came move. back. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look where you prison. are now. Very proud of that. Very movie. proud. Uh, he dropped the soap in prison. So we wanted changed. to do a cover that wasn't Black Sabbath, Slayer, Celtic Frost, any of that. So we're like, hell, let's do, let's do a uh, let's do an '80s metal cover. So we did Looks at Kill. We made it heavy as hell. Did it as a total joke. You know, just something to get along. Just fuck something to uh, a novelty. A novelty. And it soared at radio. And either you love it or you hate it. But whether you love it or hate it, we did it for fun. Yeah. Don't hold it against us. Everybody's been asking us to play it on tour. Yeah, if you don't like it, don't listen to it. I don't like it. I don't and uh, I won't play it. It's just it's just for fun, man. And we skyrocket up the CMJ charts because of it. I won't well, play it. Think, because I mean, I mean, I mean, cover most that. people just laugh at it, and that's what we did. It, I. It took me uh, two hours to sing the vocals there because I was laughing after every line. Well, I think I think of a death metal band did a. Um, Why not Warren? Why not Poison? Because cause Shot at the Devil for its time was heavy. It's a heavy. good album. Well, what it I was think, heavy for its time. What I think would be a good cover for a death metal band to do is uh, would be Dire Straits, I Want My MTV, you know? I was, I was watching like that back from 80s on MTV. Actually, our band Caffernon will be doing Don't Fear the Reaper for all the hippies out there. Yeah. We're doing some crossover. Kill Jerry Garcia. Yeah. He wanted to do some Boy George. Jim, I want to you know? do Menudo or Boy George. <laughs> yeah. or I want, I want a grind version of Karma Chameleon. What are the rumors that you're influenced by Devo? Tim likes to whip it. <laughs> I masturbate to that album every day. Thanks. I just like I just like wearing the helmets personally. Yeah, I'm doing an interview. Thanks. I like it's a strange the red fetish. Uh, also, the uh, it's a little known fact that Jim was, was in the village people for a brief time until <laughs> the one guy recovered from the uh, herpes yeah. incident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's yeah. okay now. Uh, Jim's back. Yeah. Now, what was the crew's reaction when you did that song? Uh, they we, liked it. Yeah, we emailed oh, Nikki Six. Nikki Six emailed me back. And uh, when I was 12 years old, I thought Shout Devil was a killer album, you know? And, <laughs> and uh, 
Thanks, Jim. Uh, and Nikki Six is like, dude, it's badass. It's heavy as hell. And he posts it up on the news groups because he does that. He's like a Mr. Internet. Saying in interviews and stuff that he likes the oppressor version of Looks That Kill, you got to check that out and blah, blah, blah. And he helped, they helped us out completely, you know? They, and it was badass. Oh, uh, yeah. They, yeah, made, they made a lot of money off of publishing. <laughs> since we don't get publishing for it, since it skyrocketed up the charts. They, they made a lot of money and we made absolutely <laughs> nothing. Thanks. Well, no, well, yeah. I, heard, I heard somewhere that Mick Mars was a bit jealous of the guitar solo. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Yeah, you read that. You read that in Pit, didn't you? I did. Yeah, you read that in Pit. Yeah, yeah, you read that in Pit, man. Yeah, I heard he yeah. was kind of like that guitar solo wasn't a guitar. That's not how I played. But Adam's got fucking arpeggios and shit like that in there, so. Mick can uh, Adam Adam Rock. Well, man. actually, like they got Vince Neil back now because his solo career was yeah, shit. I saw that on the so uh, any chance for maybe like a co-tour or a presser, you know? <laughs> that would be awesome. We would do that in a heartbeat. Why don't you get Tommy Lee to wear an oppressor shirt in the next album? If they'd, if they'd take us on tour, we'd do it in a minute. I wouldn't play. I'd probably just pump all the fucking groupies, but I won't play, <laughs> I won't play with that shit. <laughs> oh, we'd fucking rage. Hey, there's I know Vince like, Neil. There's things like this that I wish, you know, I was in a rock star. Uh, like excuse me, I'm, I'm with, I'm with the band. Now. Hold on, I... <laughs> I'm in the band. How you folks doing tonight? <laughs> nice Joe Boxers. Do you like those? Yeah, I do. The Bionic Man. Oh, name is. Uh, by the way, when we were in Corona, Jim washed his Joe Boxers and shrunk them in the dryer, and they were about, like, that big, so they're kind of tight on him right now. My balls. He orgasms every half hour when he moves. Uh, what's that? Will this interrupt the tour? Well, well what interrupt no, the tour? Underwear. No! Underwear? No! It makes it better. If we got a free ball it, we're there for the See, fans. Then I get a... we'll, we'll be Ch there for the fans. Nugget. If it means not wearing underwear, we'll be there. Yeah, if you're there, we will be there. Ch chicks dig gym, man. They dig my box. I, I, I was like, I was up front watching them. I hear all the girls going, who's that stallion with that funny looking guitar? You know what I mean? And the fucking friar tuck hairdo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, don't be knocking short here. Yeah. That's right, motherfucker. <laughs> What's your <laughs> goddamn <laughs> mop, ass? Hey, he I mean. But oh, was. It looks, hey, good, hey, looks good on you, though. You're not supposed to do that. I've, I've heard through the grapevine that your third cousin is Dave Mustaine. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean I don't pay my bills? <laughs> I talk to him every day. Think what do you think I'm drunk? Yeah. It's so, true. I am Dave Mustaine. <laughs> Actually, next album you can do a Megadeth uh, cover. Yeah, the new yeah, Megadeth actually, album will I, be coming out. I'd rather do like old Wake Up Dead shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We were going to do The Conjuring as a cover. Yeah. But Jim left and we turned into a gay band for a little bit. And, and we they came back. Yeah, you guys are at the toolbox. Yeah. The Blue Oyster toolbox. Uh, and the other great gay bars you've been for? We're going on tour with the Village People and Menudo <laughs> next Pansy month. Pansy Division, don't forget that. I just want to tell everybody to come out to the yeah. shows. Yeah, actually, um, uh, bring a chair, but you get in half, well, half when they, off. When they got off their uh, uh, European PVC tour. PVC pipe, get in half price. When they got off their European tour, uh, Tim gave me a call and he said, like, overseas, like, metal's kind of dead as far as true true death metal goes. It's all black metal people. And he said that they wanted to go more of that corn style, so I told him to shut the fuck up, and I told him, you know, to still play death metal, and that's right. I mean, you've got to admit it. I you hear the new album, true old school death metal, the way it should be. The way old school, does that mean you're wearing backwards kangaroo caps? And, yes, uh, and um, uh, we've got uh, Velcro tennis shoes on <laughs> and uh, white high tops that don't fit right. No, if you like death metal, you'll like Oppressor. If you like black metal, you'll probably you may, you may I, like it. You may like Oppressor. Here's the we've new got album. Some black metal Look band. at that. That is a true metal photo on the back. This yeah. guy bought all three CDs. Now where the hell is the seven fan? Lightning actually struck when we took that picture. Lightning actually <laughs> struck at this picture. That was so we metal sat metal. outside for <laughs> 73 <laughs> days <laughs> and lightning struck. That's, That's why we look metal. all so pumped because we're all mad at that point. Yeah, look at this guy, Adam, man. You, you mess with that guy, he'll, he'll fuck you I up. See, I see a boom box in the corner. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is Dave Mustaine on the cover, <laughs> not me. Yes, there's, there's a crowd from Poland. It appears as though you were playing some man of war when this lightning struck. Can you oh, explain that? The guides made heavy metal. They said that it was true. Fuck that pussy shit. No, uh, me and Adam like man of war. Jim and Tom can speak for themselves. Hey, on you guys want to hear some true music? Listen to Sarcophagus. Yeah, right. Oh, 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 oh strike that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Andy's the most truest. Cynic. Andy's the most truest black metal guy Cynic. I know. Oh, yeah. Corner Cynic. dream Cynic. Was yeah. it yesterday he turned over? Right. <laughs> 
Hi, Andy. No, I mean, no, I gotta, I gotta admit, Sarcophagus are great musicians, but what they, what they did was not, was not the, you know, the greatest oh, thing for them. Do? Mark dates my it's sister, black, Mary. Mary. What's I mean, up, Mark? <laughs> I mean, no, no. I mean, see, I mean, I never knew Mark. I heard Mark was a nice guy. Really Andy's, cool. Andy, Andy, today? Andy has an ego as, as hell, man. He called me up. He's like, we're the best freaking black metal band. I'm like, dude, come on. You, you don't know who you're fooling. He didn't even hurt here of catatonia optolamia. I mean, come on, you know. Dude, what the hell's wrong with him? <laughs> yeah. know, but yo, Colin's been in this scene since he's been an embryo. Oh, shit, so right? no, no, now, Colin? I'm 14. 14. I'm turning 15 Good next month, man. Oh, man. Yo, we need a pimp up in this motherfuck. <laughs> <laughs> On tour. I know there's a tradition of avoiding men's bathrooms, so when you do have to drain the lizard, do you frequent the female bathroom? No, no. Yeah. When, as soon as we roll into town, we head right to the ladies' john and shit after being in the van for like fucking five hours. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. That's One time when we were in Europe, me and Adam were sitting in the stalls next to each other laughing and stuff, and the ladies were in the restroom because they're cleaner over there. Oh, yeah. We and come walking out, too. the doors had already open. There's like 10 chicks in the bathroom. We're like, hey, how you doing? They all start screaming, freaking out, fucking Get the fuck throwing out, stuff Dave. at us. Damon Saint and Fabio. <laughs> it was bad. How was that tour? I Awesome. Except for Cradle of Phil. I yeah, he's something hey, about tell, 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 tell about the Can we say rock star babies? Thanks. The drummer's uh, cool. Yeah, I hear that some of the guys are cool, but the singer yeah. just totally yeah. needs Rat a kick that ass. Hey, hey, hey. Adam grabbed him by the throat on the tour for the record. Did he? Yeah. And then, and then what would you do? To and I punched their manager in the chest. Ooh. Anyway, the guys from Ancient Rites were Take totally cool. Take that, you fucker. Malevolent Creation was awesome. Metal Brothers. Vader Metal Brothers. Alright, so any closing statements right yeah. now? Right. Kill Whitey. Yeah.